hit a curve, I guarantee we'll hit another one. <laughs> He's jumping Michelin's. Your shop told me with these Falcon Wild Peaks, every time you go into pile, you can push an extra two feet versus other competitors' tires. 12 20, yeah. it's like October 20th. Uh, it's the earliest I've ever seen snow, or this amount. Uh, everything's slick. I got stock Michelin tires that can barely move. Sign most highways there. Uh, I said it's been snowing like an hour, and it's already, they're saying five to eight inches, which is bad because. I mean, we were mostly ready, but we were about 85% ready. We still had some other waiting on new equipment. Taking out a few accounts last minute. Commercials, picked up a lot of commercials. We're plowing everything you could think of this year. Old folk places, daycares, uh, pizza ranches, fast foods, restaurants, uh, industrial, everything you can think of, we're plowing it. Um, so we're just getting some of that ready. And it's, uh, it's supposed to quit around eight, so it's like perfect timing if we start plowing around nine or 10 p.m., get everything done by morning. We're now really good now. We had Dave putting in a couple steaks last minute. Dead blow hammer. Got a lot steaks. Works what we do right here in downtown Becker. Taking out the corners, the islands. It's coming down good. Nice. Have we got easy, easy inter ready and it's only, uh, it's only one o'clock. It's been snowing for the last 40 minutes. It's gotten in. What do you think of the snow here, big man? Nice. It's not this not, not nice to steak in. It's, it's not good steak in weather? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Are you excited to get out and uh, plow again? Yeah, it'd be pretty fun. Uh, what happened a minute ago on the way here? Hit a curve, I guarantee we'll hit another one. <laughs> There's junkie Michelin's. <laughs> we got some uh, junkie Michelin's. We just picked up some new tires right there in the back. but uh, We came in the corner a little hot and uh, may or may not have went up over the median. <laughs> if any of you guys are near uh, central Minnesota, I need construction done. My buddy Vern right here, Angels Construction. If you need it done, a deck, a remodel, this is the guy for you right here. Alright, we're running up the road to uh, local furniture world, field, stay, stay, stake out a few other commercials, and uh, we'll probably hit a couple more curbs. Hit a couple more curbs, and then uh, hunker down for an hour or two. Do some plowing tonight, take some basements tomorrow, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. The snow is really early. It's uh, 4 o'clock on October 20th. Like the earliest I can remember snow anyway is October 20th. God, probably going on three inches now. Even got my plowing hat. A bunch of people messaging me on Instagram. Obsessed with the plowing videos. A lot of people like them, I guess. I got people ask about that all the time. So I just, uh, I had some Michelin, some junky Michelin tires on my personal truck. And I just got these uh, Falcon Wild Peaks on here because I couldn't even move with the Michelins. So she's looking crispy with these. Looking a little more aggressive. Uh, we got short iron hooked up there on the single cab. Got a couple skids here going out still. Um, the excavators are sitting here for a minute. Probably like over 600 hours on this bad boy this year. Best investment ever. CMP Hydro Grapple. E Bob KD55. Um, so we got, uh, I'm hooking up here. I got this V plow. Got this from the boy last year, like a year or two old. Some fresh cutting edges up on this bad Larry. So I'm gonna hook up to this thing and uh, do a bunch of. Uh, do a bunch of commercial plowing tonight. I'll get as much footage as I can. Um, and go, I can go quick with my plowing hat. I usually get about three miles an hour faster with, with my plowing hat versus without. The guy at the tire shop told me with these Falcon Wild Peaks, every time you go into pile, you can push an extra two feet versus other competitors' tires. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, I guess we'll find out. But all right, let's get hooked up to this uh, Western Ultra Finish uh, MVP3. Let's see if I can line it up the first time. I put her in four wheel, spin a little bit, so I put her in four wheel, nudge her forward, and get her hooked up. open industrial lots like this. It's the same pull up. This is heavy stuff too. Amazing. Look at this stuff. This is like it's really really heavy. It's not light. It peels the stuff, peels it right up. Alright, this is one of uh, hundreds of accounts that we're gonna be doing tonight, so um, stay tuned. The front plow works good to end and you push this up and you pull it to the end and push it up with the front plow. Well, 
three and a half, four inches, about three and a half inches of heavy, thick stuff. We've easily doubled our route from last year, so we've got a lot, a lot of new accounts we're, we're doing, so stay tuned for those, see you in a bit. Okay, you can see it's a little bit dark out, but Caleb, uh, what'd you do today? I uh, did landscaping in the morning and now snow in the evening. What kind of landscaping project? Uh, shrubs, rock, retaining wall, black dirt, topsoil. Nice. See? Are you ready for snow all day? I am. Yes, yeah. sir. All right. You excited to plow? Yes, sir. You ready? Uh, you ready to call full time? Or you just want to do a little landscaping excavating? Um, I want to do landscaping and excavating still. Yeah, we got another two, yeah. three weeks left. Perfect. All right, I'll see you on some site somewhere. Got a nice back rack. Some with some reverse lights on it on my personal truck, the lights on the mirrors. She's all lit up. You can actually see. We got the skid down here with a uh, 120 inch Vernig pusher. We got uh, this is uh, Dustin. I think I actually met him on Facebook a while ago. He works for a local excavating company. So uh, he's here in the skid. Get a little film of him in this new uh, Vernig 120 inch low profile pusher. So this is our Bobcat S650. It's like a maybe a year old. Um, so he's going through and detailing all these. Uh, he's going through and detailing all these little islands. There's like a strip of them all the way along here. He's going through detail and pushing them out. And I've been uh, wind rowing it. And I've been wind rowing it down, pushing it that way and down. Uh, we do have a Doosan loader. We purchased a Doosan loader and a, a pusher for it, but the pusher isn't hooked up yet. So this is where it'd be nice, but we don't have it yet. So we gotta make do with what we got, basically. All right, let's get a little film of this. Low pro in action. So yeah, works good. Skid, detail it, truck, windrow it, and push it to the end. It'll be really nice once we have the uh, loader here. Here he's just pushing everything down past these pine trees, and then we'll shove it right up and over into the pond. Hey, what's up? So here I am with the truck, just wind rowing. <laughs> there's, one, there's a guy over there screaming his diesel. Uh, we got a few subs this year. I have their own trucks, so we're working out pretty good. We keep wind rowing all this junk over here, and then wind row over here, and then push it all. Really need that Doosan loader, need it bad. Um, just keep plugging away with the truck. All right, see you in a bit.